honestly, I'm just grateful to be here. Um, yeah, it, it's an amazing experience and for everything that I've been through as well, I just, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Playing at your first World Championship is memorable for any curling athlete, but for New Zealand skip Jess Smith, it had extra significance. Um, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2020, um, so that was just after the first initial um, COVID wave. Um, so all through 2021, I was having chemotherapy, um, had six months of that, and then it's just been a journey of recovery since, um, just trying to get stronger and stronger every day, really. It was curious then that Team New Zealand's first opponents in the round robin were Sweden. This was the team that had lifted Jess during her most difficult time. Yeah, it was tough, but I, I guess having the curling community behind me, um, that really helped. Um, I, I was a bit starstruck, I must say, <laughs> playing um, Team Sweden. Um, a couple of the girls from their team sent me some videos of support, um, which was really, yeah, it was amazing. I've never met them before, so it was great to have those messages coming in, um, just to give me the motivation to get back out there. The journey for the team itself to get to the Worlds was a challenge too. The fundraising began in earnest. Training and travel were hugely difficult. We all work full time, um, so we all have full time jobs, and um, not all of us live locally together at a curling rink anymore. Um, so I've got to travel three and a half hours to the, the nearest curling rink to train. Um, and one of the other girls, um, she has to fly um, probably two plane rides to get to, to Naseby, where we train from. Um, and so it's trying to balance work life, family life. The trip to the Pan Continental Curling Championships in Canada in November 2022 meant a re evaluation of their goals as they'd been promoted to the A group at short notice and then surpassed their expectations to finish in the top five. That meant New Zealand had qualified for the Women's World Championships for the first time ever. We were a bit shocked for a start. We, <laughs> we didn't actually believe it. We um, got back to the hotel and got connected to the Wi-Fi and found out um, on Facebook that we had qualified. So I don't think any of us had actually realised after our game that um, we were through. More fundraising followed to physically get them to the Worlds as Jess continued to progress in her recovery. Her teammates, her family and her friends have been invaluable in their support on and off the ice.